Well, the quince is uh, an interesting thing. What we have is we have about 1,400 trees. They're all grafted. So we've grafted uh, quince, which is uh, membrillo in Spanish, onto uh, a native rootstock. Uh, those are very productive. Last year was the first year. It was in 2011 that we had our first fairly big production of quince. Now this year we're going to get more, and every year that goes by we're going to get more and more, and that's all without irrigation or chemicals. So uh, I never thought, you know, I wanted quince. I don't know a lot about them. They're kind of a hard fruit, sort of like an apple pear that's really hard. And so you can make quince jam with it. You can make a jelly type uh, stuff. You can make a ate, which is kind of a candy. But most of the uses involve adding a lot of sugar, which I don't really want to do. So uh, last year we did our first experiments with fermenting them. Uh, people around here make a quince liqueur, which means they chop the quince up and add it to, to straight alcohol, and that makes a nice flavor happen. We actually want to ferment them with yeast so that the yeast are eating the sugars in the quince and producing alcohol. Our first tests at that were fine. What we ended up with was a kind of a quince wine, right, that uh, was very sour uh, and good, but a little too intense uh, for really wanting to enjoy. So now we're trying, uh, and we're just about to bottle a quince mead, which if that works, then we could end up with a product that has sweetness and tartness and uh, little bubbles. And uh, that could be a product we could make and of course use here and share with people um, because we're about to have a serious quince surplus. And uh, that's the only, the only thing I can think of doing with it. Uh, but if you have any other ideas, let me know. We're open to ideas.